number one. Back with another Sneaker Shop Talk performance review. Up today, we have the Air Jordan 28. So let's not waste any more time and let's just get right into it. All right. Starting with the inner, it's wonderfully constructed and uh, quite honestly, it's very smooth to the touch. There isn't any issues from that standpoint as well. Like I said, I'd like to get that out of the way and let you know that um, because like I always said before, for those of you who are new to the videos, it doesn't matter how good the other attributes of a shoe may be, if it's uncomfortable to wear, then you're not going to wear it. So it doesn't even matter. Um, now moving to the rest of the upper here, we've got a fused, part fused um, synthetic upper here. It flexes pretty well, even, even uh, right out of the box. Now, as far as there being a break in time, there's a minor one um, because the material does start off slightly stiff, not very, um, but after a game or two, it's totally broken in. The upper actually does flex very well. <clears throat> as you can see, these areas here, particularly um, in the forefoot, midfoot area, these, these grooves here really allow the shoe to flex very well and enhances that. Um, the only thing, it is elastic and what could cause some concern for the long-term durability. I know already you can see there, there's some um, slight, I wouldn't call it fraying, but the material is, is definitely starting to become distressed um, in that area. So if you do have these, that should be some just to keep mindful of. Um, but as far as the rest of the fit, the, sh the fit of the shoe is actually very, very, very good. Um, it holds your foot in place everywhere you need it to. I didn't experience any, um, turn it this way, internal movement within the shoe, be it um, front to back or side to side. I'm happy to report that the shoe does, it does hold your foot down in place and the fit is very good um, on the Air Jordan 28. All right, getting into the cushioning, the, the most distinguishing cushioning feature um, is the Jordan flight plate. And to, the easiest way to sum it up is it's basically um, a moderator plate, which is a flat plate there. It's made of P-backs, of extends, it runs right along there. Um, and we've got zoom air underneath. Now the purpose of the flight plate is basically to, to enhance or the effects of zoom air is is that's the easiest way to explain it um, it's supposed to 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 maximize those effects um, because basically puts it close to your foot and it helps to to basically further um, add to the responsiveness of the cushioning system does it do it yeah I, I'd say it does I, I you can definitely <clears throat> I'll say this the the um, bouncy, the springiness, the responsiveness, um, the the moving of the zoom air is definitely more perceptible in the 28 than than most other shoes with zoom air. Um, the flight plate in that aspect it does do its job. Um, the zoom air does feel feel very good. It is to me it felt somewhat different. Um, While well, I know I noticed. If this makes any sense, I know just how it felt, but at times I didn't, it didn't, I didn't quite perceive maybe the softness of, of Zoom Air that it can provide. I more or less felt the basic cushioning effects, which I'll take that over mere softness as long as it does its job. And quite honestly, the, the cushioning on this shoe did um, from the time you got them on the court. Um, the flight plate did help, and it's an interesting technology, and I'm interested to see how it will be um, utilized, enhanced, refined in, in future applications. But I definitely think they're onto something with that. But it, it took something um, that was already great in Zoom Air and kind of added to it, which is a good thing. The cushioning was very good. It did provide, it says a very good ride um, from front to back. And of course, you don't have to worry about the Zoom Air bottoming out. The cushioning on the 28 was very good. Now, moving down to the traction here, you've got a solid rubber outsole um, 
with these can these interlocking arcs uh, for the traction pattern here um, it gives you coverage all the way nearly out to the edge of the, edge of the shoe here where you have a slight outrigger there um, and it did provide pretty good cushioning um, you can actually see the rubber even out of the box is somewhat sticky as you can see some of the dust from the court is actually still stuck to the bottom of the shoe um, it does grip the court fairly well um, and it holds it in place whether you're making stops or starts, making hard cuts, playing defense, things of that nature. It's going to grip the floor very well and provide you um, good traction. No real slippage of note. Um, even once I kind of somewhat broken in um, the rubber, it was just good from, from beginning to end. Um, it just... Uh, it just definitely holds you in place as far as where you you need to go um, from a stability standpoint um, it's also very good it doesn't really want to tip over at all um, the the slight outrigger in combination with the with the uh, heel counter here and the fit here uh, enhances or not enhances but does indeed do a great job of aiding with the stability of the Jordan 28. Like I said, by and large, the build quality on the shoe is very good. Um, other than the the um, elastic issue that I noted here, so as you can see, as I'm showing you, hopefully, shoe holes are very well to wear. Um, it's a shame they can't do this on retros, but that's a whole other story. But um, it does hold up very well to wear. Um, I think, um, personally, it will... Uh, get you through at least, at least most of a season of wear. And let me say this. Let me come back to this. And I, I, I have another pair of these. And I talked to some other people who did experience blowouts with the um, the four-foot Zoom Air unit. And I'm not sure what causes it. I know it, it happened to me in some other shoes like the, uh, uh, the, what is it, the Zoom 2K3. Um, and there was another shoe that it happened to me in. Um, it happened on another pair. Um, so that is something to be cognizant of. Um, you may, you may encounter that problem such as I had. Um, but other than that, there's no real issues as far as the material of the shoe, but definitely want to be mindful of that. In closing, the 28 was pretty good. Um, I think one of the things that they were kind of getting back to more so um, performance, perhaps over style. And I think the 28 was definitely a step in that direction. Uh, it's a great performing shoe, actually. Uh, even like I said, right out of the box. Fits pretty good. The uh, the flight plate, in, the, in terms of that, is an interesting um, innovation. It's good to see them kind of doing those things um, on the Air Jordan game shoe again. Um, and, and the traction is very good. And speaking of which, I actually forgot to, to point this out when I got to the traction. This is a pretty solid rubber. You may be able to actually get some outdoor wear of it because the rubber is, um, it's, it's, it's hard enough. It's not as soft as, say, like on a Kobe 9 or something, but it is somewhat, more, it is more robust. So you may actually may be able to get some run on an outdoor court. But other than that, um, Again, kind of, kind of wrapping up here. I said it, it's a shoe made for. I would really say this is a one through five shoe. Um, I think most most of your perimeter players are going to favor this shoe, but even some of your big men may want to take a look at it as well. I don't know if <clears throat> perhaps they may try to feel the Zoom Air may not be enough cushioning from them, so that may deter them away from this shoe. But from one through three. This is definitely a shoe you want to take a look at. Um, the price may scare some people off, though you may be able to probably find it uh, below retail right now. Um, but like I said if you're if you're a fan of all things Jordan, this is an easy pickup for you. Um, as good as a performer as it is, there may be some other options out there that may be a little more wallet friendly. But overall, from a pure performance standpoint, we will put it on our recommend list. Um, 
So, like I said, if you catch them for a good price, absolutely pick them up. You should head over uh, to our website, sneakershoppop.com, for a full write up, uh, more detailed write up of the shoe there, along with uh, videos and our other reviews, as well as news. And this has been another sneakershoptalk.com performance review, wrapping up our performance review of the Air Jordan 28. Thanks everybody for watching. Peace.